For the lost and found But you don't care You're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air Like a blazing flare
Yo, what's up? Um, welcome <laughs> to the stream. Uh, this is Nace Star League Week Three. We have our maroon team going up against CSU SB Black. Uh, so that's I don't know who that is. I don't know what school that is, but. That's what's happening. Everyone's checked in. I think we should be getting started. I believe. <laughs> Pretty sure. Those who are watching, um, I don't know what's going on. Uh, we're all checked in on our side and on their side. New to this, do you make a lobby or do you? Um, I believe... I don't know. Since I'm not one of the players checked in, I don't... I don't know who makes it. I Like, I don't play in the Nace stuff. And my person who does, my co-community manager, he usually... He would know. Um, I don't think it really matters, but if you guys want to create, you can. And I can 
if you if you have my Discord or if you go to the the thing, I'm Wind Waker. And you you can message me through my Discord, and I can pass that info on to my team. It's in the nice chat. Okay. Awesome. All right, we should be getting started. Game and transition. Okay, is the overlay gonna work? Don't know if the overlay is working. Hold on one second. Oh, it's because my box mod isn't updating. Shoot! All right, we we just won't have an overlay. <laughs> I think Rocket League updated today, and um, the the box mod didn't update after the Rocket League updated, and I have to exit Rocket League to do that. So, no overlay, but I'll let you guys know the score. Uh, four seconds in, and AC Maroon has won. <laughs> All right, here we go. One's in now with the ball, putting it over the wall. Fuse puts it right back up to him. So he takes a solo play down the pitch. Round D. Here we have Evan, or, or Miko rather. I'm gonna refer to Evan as, as Miko since that's the name that we usually know him as. <laughs> um, or maybe, I don't know, just for to make it easier, I guess, I'll just call him Evan. It's a little weird, but... One Zen pops it up high. Tier 2. Tries to save it. Couldn't get around it. Fuse gets a save off of Evan. One Zen takes a quick shot. Tier 2 saves it, though. He's probably going to pass mid. He does. Flicks it high. No one's able to get to it, though, except Evan. Anthem takes it out. D tries to 50 him and fails. Leaves it for Tier 2. He's going to clear it out. I'm just going to put this over to the corner. Leaves it for one Zen. I don't know if he has boost. He might try and pass back mid. Or can't stop saying Evan. Bro, I just say who I say. I just don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm going to say Evan, alright? I mean, freaking, that's his name, I guess, at least for this. His name isn't Miko right now. Alright, it's Anthem's ball. Booms it down the field. Fuse. Wisps the clear and it's open net for Evan. Tier 2 is able to pinch it out though. One Zen gets 50 with D. It's up near. Evan's gonna try and get this midfield again. D puts it over the corner. Buys CSU some time as Tier 2 clears it out. Tier 2 gonna take a quick shot and it's just off the post. I call him Miko IRL. Damn. Uh, puts it downfield and, and Anthem <laughs> tries to steal it and, and puts it out. It hits the post, but then ends up hitting D's car. <laughs> the own goals. That's a little bit of a funny play right there. Yeah, so far AC Maroon is looking looking very solid. Unfortunately, CAC really isn't able to put up too much of a fight. And Maroon's just kind of doing what they need to, you know. I I don't uh, I don't think there's much 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 pressure that CSU is able to create here. 
We'll see. Half the match left, and it's you know it's only two goals down. Nothing's impossible. So we have Fuse now with the ball, trying to pass midfield to tier two. Anthem fifties him. One Zen takes a quick shot, and it's in. I think one player on CSU side might have been able to actually save this, but just bounced off him. It was it was Fuse's car. He, he was really close to the save, but. Just not quick enough. We have one Zen now. Let's see if he goes for a solo play after getting this boost. Just passes mid. Anthem's going. I think he's coming off the ceiling to go for that one off of the wrong side of the ball there. We have Evan now going to try and keep this in play for Maroon. It's over Anthem though. A little bit of miscommunication there. One Zen's going to try and put this mid, but leaves it for Anthem. One thing keeping this in play. Evan 50s it up. Anthem waiting now. He's gonna pass mid. Gets a 50. One Zen. Waiting on tier 2. As he brings it down the field. It's a lot of back and forth. This really isn't. Nothing is. is really, we've stayed on this side of the. The pitch for like the there we go now it goes over to the left side, but uh, yeah, it ugh. a little whiff from tier two and another whiff from D. <laughs> tier two makes out fuse, puts it over to the corner. He doesn't have any boost to take it out though. As one then puts it mid for Evan. Evan fakes, and he gets gets a quick pop into the top left corner. Bit of an unfortunate series of events on CSU side. They they uh, had boosts and then they missed two clears and then they didn't have boost. <laughs> So 4 one minute left in game one of, uh, of Nace Star League week three here. Evan tries to sneak that one in the bottom right. Anthem's going to try and keep this in for one Zen. Fuse clears it out though. Anthem now. Trying to go for a ceiling shot. Passes to Evan. Evan misses though. But it's in anyway. That second touch was was really clean. That put it right over D and, and whatever the second de defender was. He's now trying to get this midfield. One then takes a quick shot and it's right over D and it's 6-0 for ASU Maroon. <clears throat> it doesn't look like CSU is quite up to the caliber that they should be for this match. Um, I, 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 I saw the ranks though and it, it, I felt like they should have been a little more capable than this. Because at this point, Maroon is just, they're just putting them in the back of the net. And it's, it's, <laughs> it's not looking great. He tries to doink it off the corner. Anthem misses one zen and bails him out. <laughs> Anthem puts it right back into one zen. And it stays in this half. But Anthem's able to clear it. And... Tiju's just gonna put it to the ground. They're they're done. They're like, let's go next. <laughs> they're like, well, let, get get us out of here. <laughs> uh, for those who are watching, please follow the stream if you haven't already. Um, we uh, we're very close to affiliate, and we need 50 followers for that. So much appreciated if you could do that. And thank you for watching too, being here, supporting the stream. <clears throat> We go on to game two once again. Sorry, the overlay is not working because Bacchus mod wasn't updated, even though Rocket League updated, and I didn't know there was a Rocket League update. And I can't update Bacchus mod now because I'm streaming. So, 
Um, it's uh, it's it's one zero currently for uh, ASU Maroon. Um, here we have Evan now trying to get this around. Anthem's gonna be patient with this. Gonna boom it over to one or er, Evan rather. He misses. Anthem putting it off the sidewall. it off the backboard and I can't I can't really see what happened here one's then demoed fuse ah T2 just wasn't ready for the for the bounce shot and then the last defender couldn't really save that one what rank is the other team I uh, like uh, GC2 um based off of Nace I'm not really sure if I'm allowed to get out, get out, give out that information or talk about talking about other players' ranks. Is a little disrespectful, but I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's what Nace says. Oh, but it's tied up with four minutes left on the clock. There's <laughs> just I messed up. D gets a quick doink over one Zen. He isn't able to catch up to it in time. Good pass from Fuse. Come on, Monsoon. You gotta be a little more professional than that now that you're a mod. I'm now trying to get this around, but it pinches over to the right side of CSU. One Zen puts it off the backboard up to Anthem. One Zen trying to get a flip reset. D denies it. Fuse. Trying to clear this out. It's tier 2. Evan gets it over him. 50's with D. It's midfield now. One Zen's just going to pop this and stay on it. Leaves it for Anthem though, but it's right down to Fuse. Evan clears that over to the corner. One Zen's going to try and put this mid. Evan Trying to get a double here. Puts it to the corner though for Anthem. D trying to keep this in play. But no one's biting and he's forced to take another touch that puts it right over to Maroon. Fuse was just sitting back there and he wasn't wasn't really with his team. I understand, you know, wanting to play cautious, but I mean, you gotta get the lead at some point. <laughs> Anthem trying to clear this out now as Tier 2 gets it over him. D takes a quick shot. One then is able to put up to the backboard though. As D keeps this in play. Evan gets a 50 over tier 2. One Zen now. Puts it off to the ceiling. He's block 7. Tier 2 with a little bit of boost. See what he can do with it. One Zen's able to get it out. 50 Z. And this is kind of similar to the last match before Maroon started scoring a bunch of stuff. It's just very back and forth. Not a whole lot happening. Double commit there. A little dangerous CSU if Fuse is able to at least get it into the corner. As D now clears it out. One's on 50s him though. Oh, and that's a goal. I think one then got it around two there. 50 fuse. Two two misses, and then he's just able to get it under the last one. Minute 30 left now on the clock of game two. And that's going to be a third one for Maroon. I'm not quite sure what CSU was thinking here. I mean, maybe it's just a really fault on the kickoff and Maroon, you know, was just was really aggressive on that play, but CSU probably should have had someone back in net. He's going to try and control this. Anthem 50s in though. This one then pushes in. And he's going to put this over to the corner. Anthem leaves it for him. 
Gets bumped. She takes a quick shot. Anthem is there though. Steve's gonna keep this in mid and try and pass, but no one's no one's biting on that play. Seems like CSU they're, they're not a bad team, but their their offense is just really lacking. They're they're not pushing when they need to be. There seems like there's always someone with with possession, but there's no one backing them up. Which is a little unfortunate. I mean. They have 45 seconds left on the clock, and they're not really showing much in terms of turning this around. T2 does 50. Evan, though, one Zen's forced to get it around Fuse. D keeps this in play. Anthem trying to keep possession. T2 puts out the backboard. Evan trying to clear it out. Fuse isn't able to beat out one Zen. He's going to put it around D as well. And Anthem tries to pass mid to one Zen. He's going to put it back towards Anthem, but Anthem is in a position to score that. It's looking like this is a 2-0 for Maroon. Oof. One Zen's shot was just one hair to the right, and it bounced out of that corner. This is pretty much over now. D's just doing some fun styling. And uh, once again, the overlay isn't working, but it's 2-0 AC Maroon against CSU. Follow the stream if you haven't already. Appreciate everyone who's showed up today. It's kind of a last-minute stream. I well, that's what was going to stream it, and I was going to cast along with him, which would have been, you know, a little more exciting. But I. Uh, I was told kind of last minute that he wouldn't be able to to stream so I fortunately was able to get things up and running for today uh, but reminder that this weekend is the second weekend of of CRL qualifiers for the fall semester and we are gonna have the same school qualifiers again uh, on Saturday at 10 a.m. and then the actual qualifiers for whoever made it out of the same school qualifiers 10 a.m. on Sunday. So I'll be sure to be here for that. Actually I think we might have NECC matches to stream tomorrow. We'll probably be streaming Maroon tomorrow for NECC I think week one for that. I think all three of our, I think Maroon, Black, and Gold are all competing in that for their first time after doing activation uh, matches a couple of weeks ago so that'll be that'll be exciting so 20 seconds in Evan gets a goal for Maroon he isn't able to quite get this out and Anthem puts it right over the defender it's an open net practically We have Anthem now, going for a solo play. Puts it off the ground, but isn't able to get a second in touch as D, D clears it out. And gets this over one. It's one Zen, comes in, but tier two gets it over him. He's trying to fake Anthem out, isn't gonna work though. D whiffs, tries to pass back to Fuse. He's forced to take this up wall. Gets 50 by Anthem, tier two's able to keep it into the corner. Fuse gets a quick shot on that though, and I'm not sure if one Zen had boost or not. Evan gets it over D, but Fuse is ready for it, and I think one Zen was supersonic, he just wasn't able to catch up to that. And Anthem obviously thought that, that play was gonna go differently. He's probably gonna push up and get ready to offend again. Seven now with the ball gets it around D. Tries to do something with it, doesn't get contact though. Forced to Anthem have, have this play. D gets it around him. One Zen pops it up. Fuse. Popping this mid is D's going to try and keep this midfield. Tier 2 off the backboard. 
confused now. Keeping this on Maroon's half. A couple of whiffs here and there. From both sides of this match. But noth nothing really, really too threatening. One's in almost had a quick goal on the counter attack, but. Evan now goes for a flip reset. Doesn't really have much boost to do with it, though. One Zen puts a right to fuse, it clears it out. Anthem now with the ball, gets it around one. He just has tier two now to deal with. Tries to go for a breezy, but is blocked. One Zen now. Trying to go for a double. Misses. And looks like Anthem was trying to read that too. Has insurance, but neither of them were able to get a goal out of that. K2 now. Isn't able to do much else with this as Evan pops it over the side for one Zen. He's going to go for a double. Can't. It's left for Anthem. Takes a quick shot, but both members of CSU were there as Evan keeps this in. Anthem puts it mid. One Zen's forced to. Is it 2 2's car looks clean? Uh. I'll just see it again. Is this. Why is this not working? Oh, there we go. This? You like this? Sorry, pro streamer here. Um. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Anyways, back to the game. Uh, Maroon are up one goal with a minute 30 left. Darth Maul preset. <laughs> Fuse isn't able to get contact on that. That was kind of a vital pass to put. He's forced to get a 50. It's over D and tier 2 is left on defense again. Devin putting it off the corner. One then takes a quick shot, but it's saved by Fuse. Anthem now. Trying to keep this in play, but isn't. Tier 2 is going to 50 him. And Evan, it seems. D now trying to get a clear out, but one thing gets a quick shot off of that uh, that backboard play. Probably wasn't the smartest thing. He was just reacting and wasn't really thinking about if there was someone ready mid for that. Minute left, two goals up for ASU Maroon. It's not looking too good for CSU. This is game two. If Maroon wins this, it'll be a sweep. One then passes it over to Evan, who's going to pass it back. One then tries to get a double. Anthem comes in, tries to do something with it, but can't. That's going to take it up wall. Doesn't have any boost, though. Steer 2's trying to come in and get a 50. He's going to keep this in play. Fuse is a little too close to do anything with it. So I put it off the wall. Seven's going to put it over to Anthem. He's going to put it back down to one Zen. That's a really beautiful play for Maroon. Although the CSU members were kind of coming back and they weren't fully ready for that play. It was still still the, the passing that we're used to seeing when we watch Maroon play. <coughs> we have it now. Gets it over one. Gets off the ceiling. Sees it down for Anthem. And it's 5-1 with 11 seconds on the clock. I hate to say it, but unfortunately CSU just didn't have the offense that uh, that I feel like they're maybe even capable of. I feel like if they just had one or two people in better positions here and there, they would have had a much stronger offense. A Maroon sweeps on week three of Nace Star League. I don't know how many weeks there are, um, but... I think I think we're I think we're three and zero. My boy Evan, yeah. The the Evan thing is really weird. I'm used to saying Miko, and that is just that's a little that's a little weird. <laughs> uh, thanks to everyone who uh, watched, though. Even though it wasn't terribly exciting. Uh, thank you to uh, 
CSU for at least, you know, coming in chat and communicating with me if it was your first time. Thank you to our viewers. Um, follow the stream if you haven't. We need to get affiliate, and we need 50 followers for that. <clears throat> That's what wasn't able to be here today. Some last minute things came up, so it was just me. Sorry that the overlay wasn't working. I didn't have Bacchus mod updated. Is that one Zen guy? He's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. This guy. Thank you everyone for showing up. I uh, don't really have much else to say. Uh, be here for NECC. Uh, first week of actual league matches. The other matches that we sh uh, showed a couple weeks ago were activation matches. So now they're actually starting the season in NECC. So those will be those will be starting tomorrow for maroon, gold, and black. And then this weekend we have CRL qualifiers, um, and we'll be doing the same school qualifier for whoever's registered at ASU um, on Saturday at 10 a.m. and then whoever. Over the top two teams are that that day will be playing Sunday at 10 a.m. in the actual CRL qualifier. So be sure to be here for that. But uh, thank you everyone for watching, and uh, see you all tomorrow. Yeah.